you know, you've had so many great parts and roles in TV and film, but where you got my attention, it was in 2018 on my favorite television show, Blue Bloods, where you played uh, the character Amali Chavez. Uh, yeah. The episode that you were in, in in season eight was called You're Six. It, it showed a couple of great things to me. Uh, one was that you and uh, had really good on-air chemistry back and forth with Donnie Wahlberg. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, who of course plays Danny Reagan on the show. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you're really fast. Uh, I mean, I know it's TV and everything, but watching you run around the streets in New York, you were pretty darn fast. It was pretty funny. Uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. tell us a little bit about how that role came about and what you enjoy most about it and, and how it ended up obviously ended up becoming, becoming a recurring role later on, which we'll talk about too. Yeah. Molly, Molly Chavez was actually supposed to be Molly Fitzgerald which was cool. It was fine. And then they changed it, I guess, when they picked me up. Brian, I believe Brian Burns was in the casting and the director for the for that episode. And I did a great job. Even I I, I felt it too. I was kind of like, I know I'm doing a good job. Like, you know, an actor just knows when an audition sure. is in the pocket, you know, <laughs> that's what we say. And you just have that feeling. But I still wasn't sure. And then I found out the same day that they that they liked me. They wanted to book me for Molly Chavez, which was cool. And then Molly Chavez, too, was supposed to get shot up at the end of the first episode with her boyfriend, who gets uh, Malbatten, who gets shot up. And I was supposed to go through that. And honestly, I was dreading to put on those squibs. I really, <laughs> I really didn't want to go through that. But I was like, if I got to do it, I got to do it. And I think I just start, you know, I made, I think it was the choices I made for Molly Chavez. You know, I kind of was inspired by uh, Heath Ledger's Joker, Al Pacino's, uh, you know, Scarface. You know what I mean? Like I was, I was Tony Montana. You know, I was, I was, I plucked kind of inspiration from them because I'm a bomb expert and I'm, I'm, I'm a psychopath. You know, right. <laughs> I'm Bonnie and Clyde with my man. I will kill you at the drop of a hat. Uh, so, <laughs> so I was like, okay, so start thinking, you know, start putting yourself like, let's get some inspiration going. Let's, let's see, you know, cause if you're playing that kind of character, you, you don't have, you don't give no F's, you know what I mean? You have right. no F's to give. So you're kind of living at, I have nothing to lose kind of mentality. And I think it was the choices I made. I, I made Molly on some, like, listen, I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I'm doing it for the right reasons. So I was doing it for my mom. You know what I mean? In the episode, like, you know, she's doing it for someone she loves. Isn't it? It's kind of like why villains or superheroes, you know, we always got a motive and it's usually for something we love either selfishly or some, someone else. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, like I said, I think it was just the choices I made, especially when I smiled in the interrogation room. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. just smiled because I that knew, so I was like, you make yeah, I was like, you're not going to, you're not going to get my number. You know, like, you're yeah. not going to know who I am. Like, right. <laughs> I was thinking that in the back of my mind. Right. But yeah, and I think too, because, you know, Donnie, Donnie grew up kind of in the hood too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his Boston uh, Dorchester story too. And I think that's why our, our personalities vibe. You know what I mean? I think we both kind of have that attitude of, you know, I'm an alpha female, he's an alpha male kind of thing going on. And I think it was kind of cool, too, to see him interacting with, we know he shouldn't be kind of interacting with an informant and kind of getting this relationship. But that's what's exciting, because we don't see that in right. real life. You know what I right. mean? Like, you don't yeah. hear about that stuff. And it's always frowned upon. So I think, too, that's what kind of made it all the more delicious. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah.